So there we go, it's going to be a quick video. I've only got a 512 megabyte card in this camera. It's only good for two minutes, max. So my first batch of my computer parts have arrived. My motherboard and the RAM. Next up, got an SSD, Windows 7 um, Home Premium, 64-bit, and some heat sink paste and a proper um, CPU cooler. Because of that CPU cooler on this is not going to fit that other motherboard. It only fits this motherboard. So, anyway, I did test everything, tested all the peripherals, tested the power supply good and proper, and everything is fine. It's definitely the motherboard that's gone in this. I tried all your suggestions, disconnecting bits and pieces, testing it with the multimeter. Power supply is happy all the way. It's definitely the motherboard that's failed in this thing. So that's a good sign. I could just uh, put that uh, once I've put all this all together, it's gonna be a kick-ass computer. I'll have the SSD, I'll format that, get that all set up and ghost it onto one of these other hard drives and back it up and put it away so if the SSD ever takes a shit I've got a backup on a hard drive at least. I might have to start again. Got a good graphics card and everything coming for it so we're going to make a, a good YouTube computer might as well go a bit overboardy. So it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. That's all your um, connections for the motherboard there. Got all the accessories that I need. Let's get a closer look. 1 minute and 31 seconds, got 30 seconds to go. Quick look. There we are. It's a bloody nice motherboard, that. Anyway, I brought it when all the rest of the parts are off. This is all Japanese capacitors on this too. So, 